What is going on everybody? This is Dylan with Dylan Talks Tone and today we have a really cool guitar restoration project. This is a special one. So I don't typically take guitar projects through the mail. Like we build pickups and we ship them out to you and loaded pickguards and all that kind of stuff. We do that every day, you know, ship them all over the world. DylanTalksTone.com. You can go buy the stuff. We make it for you. I don't typically repair other people's guitars. We don't work on other people's stuff. I used to do it a lot, but not so much anymore. However, on a live stream about a month ago, uh, a gentleman had mentioned in his, in the, just in his comments, just randomly, uh, that he was deployed away uh, in the military. And while he was away, his guitar was vandalized, stripped. I don't 100% know the details, but I know that what he came back to was not his guitar. Well, it was a husk, just leftover pieces. And it happened to be a John 5 Squire Telly. And for those of you that have followed the channel for a while, you know that I am a huge fan of John 5 and I love his guitar playing. He's one of the best living guitar players of all time, in my opinion. So one of the folks in the comments that follows our channel, um, watches a lot of our videos, follows all of our live streams, uh, was in the comments the same night. And he actually offered in the comments, nobody asked, it wasn't like a, can you please give me a free guitar? It was nothing like that. It was literally a genuine telling a cool story, which wasn't really that cool, but it was just kind of an interesting story. And then one of uh, our viewers was like, hey, um, if Dylan will do the work and put it all together, I will pay for it. So someone in the comments offered to pay to have this guitar restored back to good. And so I chatted with both of them afterwards and I said, you know, I don't typically take stuff through the mail, uh, but this is a special one. So let's get it on. So he sent me the thing. So I'm going to show you what we're going to do. And over the next few days, we're going to put this guitar back together and make it go. And I'm really stoked about it because it's a John five guitar, because we're helping out a fellow human being. And I just think it's very cool. It's a cool story. So here's the John five Squire Telly. It's the black one, double bound body, which is pretty cool. Got three way switch up here, two humbuckers. And then of course it's got the interesting bridge. So let's go ahead and let me show you what we got to replace the parts that are now missing in this guitar. So here is, we got a Clusen bridge. Uh, this is very similar. It's the guitar didn't come with a Clusen, but it's very similar. So that guy goes right there. Okay. So we've got that. Uh, now one of the things I had to do because the John five guitar actually comes with two volumes and no switch. And I wanted to be as like, proper to the John five as possible. It was hard to find a switch with, um, just two tone, two volume, a volume and a tone in it. So it's a, with two knobs. So the John five one is actually a volume and a volume for both humbuckers. So I just got a blank one. We'll go ahead and redrill the holes in the right spots so that this works out and it looks good. Uh, so that'll happen. The neck on the guitar, he sent that to me. It seems fine. The tuners seem fine. Um, we might have to do a little work on this nut a little bit to make it play really good. We're going to go ahead and polish the frets on it and make that really nice. So that's pretty good. We don't really have to worry so much about the neck. Of course, the setup we will, we will obviously address. Uh, we went over the parts bin and we got uh, two 500 K Borns pots, which will go in here. Once I drill those holes, uh, we got a pure tone Jack, which is what we use on all of our wiring stuff. And then of course, because it's a John five, it doesn't look mirrored right now because it's got plastic on it, but we've got the mirrored pick guard, the proper mirrored pick guard. So this thing is going to look so sweet when it's done. Um, 
And the really cool part, it looks like we might have to do a little trimming on that pit guard because that bridge. The really cool part about this is I've been meaning to, I've been working on a humbucker design for a new set of humbuckers that are ceram, uh, that are Alnico 8 humbuckers. And it just so happens that this guitar has two humbucker holes. So we are going to test and share those Alnico 8 humbuckers in this guitar. So the next thing we're gonna do, probably tomorrow, so this video is gonna just be kind of the rest of the week kind of put together. Um, we're gonna go ahead and make some pickups for this thing. We're gonna put them in, we're gonna wire it all up. Uh, we're gonna set the guitar up, we're gonna play it, and uh, I think it's gonna be a pretty sweet result. So I guess the next thing we need to do is get some pickups going on. Well, how about that? So there's your John 5 telly. All kind of put together and back to good. Um, it, now, it's obviously not the exact factory parts because I used what I could. So the pick guard kind of fits a little different around the bridge. It's actually a higher quality bridge than what it came with. This is a Clusen bridge. These are like 60 bucks or something. Really nice with uh, plated brass saddles. So it, it's really cool. These pickups, uh, we decided to call them Dylan Tox Tone Super 8. That's what they are. Kind of named it after an old Packard engine. Uh, it was one of the big uh, straight eight, actually, cylinder engines from a long time ago. Anyway, so that's what it's called. There's, these are going to be called the Super 8s. They are all Nico 8 pickups. Uh, they are about, I think, 
13 K something like that right in there. And what I really like about them is they have a great front end attack to them. Um, they don't get harsh on the top. They're a little smoother on top, a little less jangly than what I normally make. Um, which I, I really like this though. They're probably some of the most balanced, um, throughout the whole thing. I played them a bunch the last couple of days. I, I really like how balanced they are. I like that you can put as much gain to you to them as you want and you won't lose note definition. Like you'll hear every string in a big power chord with even big, you know, high gain stuff. Uh, but they play cleanly without sounding too hot. Sometimes when you get a pickup that's too hot and you play clean with it, you can hear it. Uh, oftentimes the mid range goes away and it attacks it a little bit too hard where these are really touch sensitive. They just feel, I don't know, they feel good. It's hard to explain when you play them, they feel, you can put feel into the playing. Some hot pickups, they're just like on off and that's it. These are a lot more touch sensitive and have a lot of dynamics to them even though they are on the hotter side than what I normally make. I really, really, really like them. I, let me say, everybody's been asking for them. This was gonna, I put it off and put it off because it's just not my thing. I'm not usually a higher output pickup guy. But I really like these. They're really good and I would encourage you to give them a shot. Um, anyway, this is set number one in this guitar going out to Butch Davidson. Uh, this is a pretty cool story. Um, he, just to give you a little bit more background on this thing, for those of you that have stayed to the end of this video, this story is insane. So his grandmother, who I believe, according to his email, he sent me an email and he kind of explained a little bit of the history of this. His grandmother used to play with Mary Ford like Les Paul and Mary Ford. And so she had, his, his grandmother had connect, co collected a lot of guitars. And when she passed away, I believe she willed them to the owner of this guitar, Butch's brother. And then he lost his house in a fire and lost all of his guitars. From what I could tell from what he told me, except for this one. And then he passed away. And so Butch's, I believe it sounds like Butch's mother made sure that Butch got this guitar. So this is like the only thing left of that family's musical history. So then Butch is in the military. He gets deployed. He comes back to literally a body and a neck. Someone had stolen all of the parts out of the guitar completely when he sent it to me it was a body and a neck with tuners in the neck and a nut in the neck but nothing else everything else was gone and so we oh the switch was here too and so we rebuilt it but i didn't just rebuild it one of like i mentioned earlier i have to say uh, thanks to Don in the comments and a YouTube live stream said, hey, no, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pay for the parts. So I did not charge any labor. We did not mark stuff up. We just, it was like kind of a cost of parts deal. And we put this thing together. Um, and here you go, Butch. This thing's pretty, pretty freaking cool, man. It's, uh, it's a great guitar. And this is a lesson, I believe in uh, keeping your first guitar. Keep the one, you know? I've got my Strat right up there, the red Strat. Had it since I was a little kid. Keep it. No matter what anybody tells you. Um, well, it's not worth modding, you know? There's probably 400 bucks worth of stuff in this guitar now. And it's not an expensive guitar, but it doesn't matter. It matters to him. And it matters to all of us that we're a part of this story. So this guitar is invaluable to his family, and to everybody else who, who watched this and, and appreciates this, you know, this guitar has no value. So it doesn't matter 
if the guitar is 300 bucks. It doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. Um, anyway, there you go, Butch. It's pretty awesome. And, uh, yeah, this one, this one's special. This one is special. It's fun, fun to do. Uh, make sure you check out our channel. Our la who yeah, this one's special. Make sure you check out our live stream on Thursday at 8 p.m. Make sure you check out all of the other stuff we do on our channel. Um, yeah, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for being a part of the story. Uh, thanks for those uh, of you who super chatted in to donate a little bit of money toward the cause. And uh, thanks to Don for making it all possible. Uh, we'll get this back to you soon. Thanks for hanging out. And we'll see you later.